If you've heard of the Stardew Valley board game, you've probably also heard that it is extremely complex and requires over 24 pages of instructions to explain. In case you don't have that kind of time on a weekday night, I'm going to explain it to you here in under three minutes. First, what is the Stardew Valley board game? Well, it's a cooperative one to four person board game in which players work together to restore the community center as well as complete grandpa's goals and defeat the evil Joja Corporation once and for all. To do this, players have one in-game year, which consists of 20 rounds, five per season. During each round, every player gets a chance to take two actions. Actions include visiting Marnie's ranch to buy animals, buying and planting seeds, fishing, mining, and more. Once the actions are over, players may choose one end of turn effect, which may be petting an animal, upgrading a tool, or a couple others. When every player has completed their actions and end of turn effect, one player draws a season card from the deck, and a number of random events may trigger based on icons on the season card. There are 10 possible events, and they include crows eating crops, fish moving around, and a Joja tile springing up. What is a Joja tile? Well, when a Joja tile is triggered, it causes an obstruction to an area of the game. For example, a Joja tile can prevent fishing in the lake or some other such problem. These tiles can be removed as end of turn effects, costing 5 gold pieces or 1 heart. Now, what are hearts? Hearts are in-game tokens that you can get by spending actions to befriend villagers in Gus's saloon. Giving a liked gift nets 1 heart, a loved gift 2, and when given during their birthday season, you get an extra heart. These hearts, in addition to being used to remove Joja tiles as well as upgrade animals, are also, most importantly, used to reveal community center bundles, which start the game face down. This makes befriending villagers a priority in the Sturdy Valley board game. So this is just a quick overview, and there's a lot of small details and exceptions, but I hope this helps as a less overwhelming introduction to the game than the, again, 24-page rulebook. Thanks for watching!